Hey, this is Drew. Welcome back to Beyond Seclusion. We're going to go over the most powerful AR-15 that there is. It is the 450 Bushmaster. There is one other, the 50 Beowulf, that can have a little bit more energy, but I'll show you that this is the best choice. Let's uh, put a couple in at 100 yards and uh, see what we get for accuracy. Let's, uh, let's try some metal at 100, 200, and 300 yards. Not bad. What is the most powerful cartridge that you can get on an AR-15 platform? 450 Bushmaster. I'll show you here in a second. There are some 50 Beowulfs that will have a little bit more muzzle energy, but when you compare price and availability of ammunition, it's pretty neck and neck, but anyway. Then the next question would be was, why would I want this? Well, let's, let's take a look and compare it to the 5.56. Huge difference, okay? Huge difference. This sucker's big. It weighs a lot. As you saw in the video, it's got some kick. So this isn't going to be a choice for deer hunting for smaller people that, uh, that don't like something that's got some kick. You know, we got a 250 grain bullet here that's going up to 250 or 2200 feet a second. In fact, let's just take a look here at uh, what I put together for you. Some I just threw together, I was going to do a, another video comparing AR-15 calibers. Um, you can tune into that and check that out. But what I want to focus on here is this one, the 450 Bushmaster. You got 250 grain bullet. There's not a whole lot of variety out there as far as manufacturers. Uh, Hornady, Remington, um, oh, who else? Yeah, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I haven't really seen much other than the 250. We are going at 2,200 feet a second. And when we compare that with like the 458 SOCOM or the 50 Beowulf. Now we look at the 458, and this is why I chose the Bushmaster. Okay, we can, this is awesome. We can go from 300, actually they've got 250, I think all the way up to 500 or 550 grain bullet, which is great. You know, you got a huge variety there. Um, muzzle energy, we can get up there 2,200 feet. Here's the real kicker with a 458 SOCOM. You can't find really any ammo for less than 40 bucks. Most of them are between 40 and 60 bucks a box, so you're talking two, three bucks a shot. That took it out of the running for me. Then you got the 50 cal Beowulf, and again, we got some variety here with bullet weight, you know, 200 to 350. Muzzle velocity, we've got 2,500 on the, the lower end, which gives us more foot-pounds of energy than the 450 Bushmaster. we got 27 versus 26, but they're pretty much neck and neck. And again, we get down to the cost factor, and the Bushmaster overall is going to have the most muzzle energy, um, and it's, it's going to be the cheapest. So... There's the Bushmaster, and that's why I chose that. It's These are the three top uh, performers for an AR-15 as far as mass. Now, here's what's interesting. is We compare to a 308 Winchester, now 147 grain, which is kind of just your standard military ball ammo. You've got 2,700 feet a second, so it's going quite a bit faster. But when we look at muzzle energy, okay, really, this is going to be neck and neck at a short range. So in some ways you're getting the energy of a large caliber rifle on an AR-15 platform. As far as accuracy with the 450, I found it to be really accurate. This is what I shot, the first shot there, okay, and then I had three doing a clover leaf. Um, I didn't fire a whole lot because it, you know, a buck around 
over a buck around, it gets kind of expensive. I have shot in the past when I had it zeroed. I get out there, cold bore, I put it on the sandbag, and I have shot, first shot right in the center. I've had pretty good luck at two and 300 yards. At 300 yards, um, oh, I looked it up somewhere. At 300 yards, it's getting really slow, but at 300, it has the energy of a 44 Magnum. Still plenty to kill a deer. I don't think I'd recommend reaching out to 300 yards with a 450 Bushmaster, but hey, you know, it still has knockdown power at that rate, at that distance. The other thing I was gonna tell you is, is I always get complete and total jacket separation with these. It would be nice if they had a 450 uh, that has bonded. That is another thing, if you reload, I believe that you're gonna have a whole lot more options with a 450 over the 50 cal and the 458 SOCOM because you're gonna use a 45 caliber bullet. So those that are into reloading, I don't reload. Actually, I'm thinking about it with this. Another good option. Hopefully that answers some of your questions. Uh, if you're thinking about doing a 450 Bushmaster, it's, it's an interesting round to have. It's a great round for hunting if you're wanting something big and heavy. Technically, with that kind of energy, you could take any American, North American game, elk, moose. Would I necessarily pay, you know, two, three thousand dollars, whatever it is, to go moose hunting and take a 450 Bushmaster? Probably not. But, you know, if I live somewhere and I'm elk hunting and I'm sitting in a tree stand or somewhere where, you know, it's 50 to 75 yard shot and I got an AR-15, you betcha, okay? It, would it work for deer? I've taken several deer with it. It does a fantastic job. The other nice thing is, is the magazines just uses a standard AR-15 magazine and all you have to do is get the follower. You can just uh, get a hold of Bushmaster. You can find them online and all you do is swap out the follower and it uses an AR-15. Here is my Bushmaster 450. I got this years ago, paid, you know, I don't know, I think around 600 bucks. So works great, a lot of fun, and it's just one more option that you have with your AR-15 platform for a very effective hunting round. Thanks for joining.